It was a perfect pre-Thanksgiving start for the Indiana Hoosiers in at 5-0, looking for six straight to start the year against a team that never plays a home game. Jackson State close to picking off a couple teams on the road, looking for that first win against the Hoosiers inside Assembly Hall. And if all that wasn't enough, Connor, on you down here courtside, look who's back home. Coach Weber, 2005 National Coach of the Year. Coach, great to have you back. Welcome home. Thank you, Connor. Back with the uh, most popular man in this place today, Ray Phil Davis, former Big Ten Defensive Player of the Year, Connor Onion. Now, uh, we talked about the three-point shooting for Purdue, a lot of non-conference, but an improved defensive team. They're showing it in these first five minutes. Yeah. Hoosier's got to get one up here. Johnson creates to frame the ball screen. It's Bates for three. As the clock sounds. It is Baker putting Ohio back up by one. Three to go until the half. Dickinson, why not? Oh, he got another one. He asked Florida A&M, would they triple Zach Eady today? They said no, but we didn't account for the quadruple team on the two of them. There's Smith Love up top for Zach Eady. There's no stopping and pulling it back. It is turnover and go. Uh, inside Mansell. Can't get the roll. And here they come again. Caleb Banks. He's the one to finish this time. Write a sign. Ask the question. Say it. Here's shot of Ben Johnson. Have your prayer answered. He gave the fan the gum. It's almost as if like somebody had spinach in their teeth during a shoot round. That person would tell them, right? Like that. He's looking out for everybody. I was just about to compliment you, and then but you I, bring that on me. We got just, trust issues tonight. There are group. trust issues, but well, I mean, it's just it happens. You got to tell somebody when he's got spinach in his mouth. That being said, if you look at the line early on here with 22 rebounds, they've gotten a lot of offense rebounds. Seven. That's where they've gotten some easy buckets. Offensively, I wouldn't say that Illinois has been. Moved by any means, Minnesota, they've played better. They're cutting harder. That seven assists was crucial to why they've got their 29 points. Sorry, what'd you say? You had spinach in your team. Oh, thanks for telling me now. Start of the second half, the Gophers going with battle. And the rebound for Hawkins. I can't believe you let me go through the whole shoot round with spinach in my teeth. Didn't even tell me. You were talking to Brad Underwood the whole time with spinach I was, in your team. yes, exactly, yep. Brad Underwood, so engaging to talk to. I just didn't have time to break it to you. <laughs> Epps on a three to start the second half. Well, again, we've talked about that. That's huge. Epps, since that last Minnesota game, he was 6 of 38, 15% prior today. He's hit two of them, and it gives this Illini team so much more spacing, Connor. How this game started with, was with Epps spacing the floor and scoring, and that's a travel on Ola Joseph. And we've heard Coach Johnson talk about it during shoot round. They've preached it. They do star passing, playing off of two feet right there. That's a great example of Joseph Ola Joseph's not playing off of two, and then that's where you get the travel coming from. You were so happy to see them do that star passing drill at the Minnesota shoot around. It, because it's simple. Like this game of basketball is simple, and, and so many people forget about it. But star passing, just making the correct pass to each other, passing to your teammates. Danger had foul trouble in the first half. Back in there on the back cut to Epps, and an easy two. And what a start by Epps. Knocks down the three, and then a backdoor cut right to that front of the rim. And really a start that the Illini needed. It was a six-point game. Now you look at how quickly that ballooned. Illinois led by 12 at one point as Henley, with mean intentions, headed off the back of the rim. Does reset the shot clock. Definitively hitting the rim. And here's Garcia. And got it deflected by Danger. Second chance, though. There's Cooper on the reverse. Nope. So some good looks at it for the Gophers, but the Illini get a stop. And Minnesota's missed a lot of layups. They're four of seven from layups in this game. Layups and free throws, big difference. And seven on the clock. Epps. Feeling it, second half. I've seen it, but it's been huge. What an answer and start to this half by Jaden Epps. Raising his scoring since he took over the starting point guard role. And that is a happy yell from Brad Underwood for Jaden Epps. And it starts by reading the defense, loses vision, cuts to the front of the rim. And like I said, he's been 6 of 38 from 3. He's done it a variety of ways. You look at that 6 of 38 from 3 since the last Minnesota game. He's got three of them here tonight. Jaden Epps has come out of the second half on fire. First, he comes down and knocks a three. Second one, he reads the defense, cut to the front of the rim. 
And the last one is, I'm feeling it. I'm going to let this thing fly with five on the shot clock. An 8-0 run, personal run. And the best part about it is Coach Underwood loves everything about it. And we've talked so much about what he's done, right? Six of 38, 15% from three since the last Minnesota game. Right? Like if he's able to knock down shots for this Illini team, I don't know how you guard him because before you could go under the screen, you just you can if he's knocking those down. Yeah, he's got eight of the 11 points. Jaden Epps on this 11-0 run, and there's a stopper with Henley at the rim. I tell you that look from Brad Underwood out of context. If you didn't know what happened right before that, you think he's furious with Jaden Epps. You would, but that was one of those looks that, like, hey, I've I've been on you. Like, like we need to get this out of you all the time. And he's been he's been so good for this line I team. They keep shooting. What, what he's done at that point guard that slide over the middle of the season, like, has been so good for this team. And Sky Clark left the program personal reasons. Was the starting point guard. And Epps didn't start right away after that. It was about two or three weeks after that that he took over the role he's in now. And Garcia flat-footed, and Melendez flies in. About as good of a start as you would have hoped for if you're Illinois, and Minnesota's cooled off. You couldn't have asked for a better other than just guarding that back door. Meyer, and Danger got pushed. Oh, he was pinballing between guys down there. And Henley pushed him. Danger turned around real quick and gave him a look. And I love the patience because a lot of guys in that situation would get upset. They'd go face to face. No reason for it. I love the, the, the ability of Dane Danger to realize, okay, but Henley was a two-hand two shove, to say the least. You would be mad, too, if you were about to go up for an alley-oop dunk. Yeah, see, I don't know how that feeling is. I've never done that. I mean, Come on, now. The, they've never thrown me an alley-oop, so we, I never have to worry about that. You're right. You were setting back screens, all that stuff. Just let me shoot it. I was good. Banking shots in at the buzzer every once in a while. You might have made a couple of Illinois fans happy with that since it was against the Hoosiers, so... Five on the clock for Danger. Why not Epps? Now he's 0 for 2 since that hot start to the half. And possession not dead yet. And it's touching everybody's hands, including Henley's. And he finally straps it out. Battle wants it. Can't get it though. And keep it down on this end. A rugged possession that Henley just came out of the scrum with. Good hustle for the Gophers. Timeout.